Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about how you can raise a waveform, also how you can apply for a travel authorization letter. So many of you have asked me uh, what I have done differently that I got my approval so fast. I am not sure if it has helped but uh, I have raised a waveform after 7 to 8 days of submitting my application. Also I have uh, requested a travel authorization form. I haven't uh, received any response from IRCC other than the automated response but you can give it a try just in case it helps you somehow. Uh, so you can go to google and search for ISSC waveform let's go to the first link okay once you log into the web page let us just scroll down so we can see type of application or inquiry so it depends on your situation of course uh, like there are many options as you can see in change of contact information is there if you want to withdraw your application if you want to uh, change any of your documents uh, so there are so many uh, options here so you can just uh, see whatever best suits your query and you can uh, select that option uh, in my case, I have just chosen the generic option. Uh, I chose technical difficulties and then I have explained my situation here. I just told I have applied on so and so date and I have done my upfront medical. So also I just attached my uh, e-medical copy with the waveform so that uh, in case if they could not see it while I applied, they can just find it here. So you can write uh, your situation whatever your situation is it might be different than mine so once it's done you can uh, provide all other details like your name email id your date of birth country you are from okay also the client id and application number you can find this under your gc key you can just log in into the gc key and get the information from there there are few more details that needs to be filled uh, like the inquirer information if you are raising the waveform on someone's behalf then you have to fill the details in my case since I am just applying for myself it gets filled automatically so once everything is done you can just agree and do next okay so here it asks uh, would you like to include a document with your submission yeah of course you have to uh, give an attachment as i just want my medical to be updated i have to just attach the e-medical copy here in your case if you have to update any other documents you can do that too once it's uploaded you can just go ahead and submit it and that's it after that you just have to wait for ISSC to come back on your query now let's see how to raise a travel authorization form the process is almost similar you just go under the waveform and choose the option as electronic travel authorization alternatively you can also send an email to ISSC you can find the email address in the description below but uh, I have raised the waveform in my case so I am showing the same so here you can choose uh, electronic travel authorization uh, case specific or maybe generic I am choosing the case specific option as I am already having an application in process so here you can uh, write your query 
I am not going to type uh, everything here. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, give you a format in the description. You can just take a look at that and you can write it on your own. Again, uh, as I mentioned before, it completely depends on your case your and your situation. Your situation might not be same as mine. After writing, you can just fill the other information as usual. Name, email address, date of birth, uh, country of birth, etc. Enquirer information, same as before. So yeah, uh, once everything is filled, you can just submit it. So as I can see, there are two errors. Okay, yeah, it is asking me to provide the application number. This is mandatory. So I'll just put something random maybe for now. Okay, yeah, now it's allowing me. So it's same, uh, you have to uh, upload your documents document list uh, i have mentioned in the description box which all you can upload uh, i think the vaccination certificate is very much mandatory because you are asking for a travel authorization and you are not allowed to enter to canada uh, unless you are vaccinated i am not yet sure about the new rule but yeah i i have heard they have uh, made it mandatory uh, for you to be vaccinated to come to canada So yeah, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other query, you can just ask me in the comment section. And if this video was useful to you, please like the video and also share it with others. Thank you.